All right. What is going on, guys? Welcome back. Welcome back to another video. Welcome back to another another day of football training. Uh, it's a little bit of a, a different intro today. We're sitting in my office. This is one of the last times I'm going to be able to do this for the next three or four weeks. I'm leaving Alice Springs for at least three or four weeks. I have a couple of things that I need to attend to, but whilst I'm away, um, I'm going to be staying in Melbourne. You know how much I love Melbourne, you know how many times I've been there in the past? Loads. I've got friends there. There's a grid, grid iron, a grid iron competition that's just about to start. The first game for this particular team that I want to play for is on the 24th of August. Today's date is the 2nd of August. I'm heading down there tomorrow. There's a training on Sunday the 4th. Today is a Friday. All going well. By the time that you see this video, I will have just completed my second ever gridiron training from 10 to 1 p.m. on Sunday the 4th of August with the Monash Warriors. So, it's out there. I'm heading down to Melbourne tomorrow. I'll most likely vlog it, but like I said, by the time you see this video, hopefully, all going well, it's done. I'm in the team and we're training. Before I go, this time I know what position I want to play. If I can't play this position, I'm not going to play. I'm not going to be happy. I demand to play this position. If I'm third string, fourth string, fifth string, I don't give a shit. If I don't have any reps in the game, I don't care. I want to train as this position because it's my passion and it's my dream. And that position, guys, is running back. So the first thing I'm going to do when they say, right, running back's over here, receiver's over here, lineman over here, kicker's over here. Well, we're not going over to kicker. No. No, we're actually going to the running back pile. And um, I can't fucking wait. So the last thing I want to do is turn up and, uh, you know, just be completely out of my depth. You know, I want to have held a ball. You know what I mean? I want to have held a ball with gloves on before I go. Much like uh, when I went down to train with Pro Kick, <laughs> I didn't prepare whatsoever. Um, all I could do was, once I got down there, I had a day to go down to the field that they were going to train at, so I could see what it was like, and um, and have a few kicks and just get my get my leg going, get used to holding the ball again. And I'll tell you what, that one day worth of training myself gave me a hell of a lot of help the next day, a hell of a lot. You know, I'd literally held the ball and kicked it a lot the day before going to the training. So it helped out a shitload. Today is going to be similar to that, although it's two days away from the training. Um, today is all about just getting, getting back down to the field, putting my boots on, getting a hold of the ball. It's a different size ball than a rugby ball, you guys know that. Um, but the first part of today's video is about watching or reacting effectively to some training drills. I need to know a couple of things that I can go down to the field right now, train for about an hour, move around some cones. I've got some cones, I'm gonna take them down. I've got a couple of footballs, I've got my gloves. You know, I, I wanna just make the most of this last day that I can. So hopefully we're gonna find a couple of good drills that I can go down and do. You know, it doesn't have to be running back drills. I'm, I'm thinking I might do a couple of routes as a receiver just for fun. Um, just to get the feet going, like I said, and uh, that's what today's about. So I'm going to roll the intro, guys, and see you back here to, to well, learn something, hopefully. The quicker you're here, the faster you go. That's why where I come from, the only thing we know is... Uh. Okay. Running back drills. I watched that Washington football running back, but you need other people. I'm thinking, what can I just do by myself? USC running back football drills. Agility drills for insane footwork. Three agility ladder and cone drills to improve your foot speed and quickness. All right, what's this? Again with another video. Be different. First drill is going to work on your lateral side to side off with it. All right, so here's a setup right here. You're going to start at the start, which is this cone. You're going to shuffle over to this cone. You're going to shuffle back to the original original cone. You're going to shuffle to this cone, shuffle back, sprint up to the jelly ladder. Then you're going to do the icky shuffle, which I'm going to be showing you all in a second, obviously. When you reach this end cone, 
you're gonna um, start, you know, right at that cone. You're gonna sprint over five yards this one, sprint 10 yards back, then you're gonna sprint over, all right? Holy shit. Yeah, I saw it, mate. All right. Look. Okay, let's continue. Got that. Finish with a sprint. At these end cones. All right, what do we got now? And finish with a sprint. I'm going to be showing you all that in a second, obviously. Obviously. So I'm going to be fixing these cones a little better in a second. But as I said, you're going to circle around obviously. each cone going off in the same direction each time. You're going to do one foot in each on the agility ladder. And then at these end cones, um, you're going to do this little zigzag thing between them. So basically, you're going to be going like boom, boom, in, out. Um, so yeah, I'll show you all the, how these look. Okay. Okay. Sometimes straight ahead, just working on that lateral speed. Um, see, I'll show you guys how this one looks, and you should enjoy it. So this drill is kind of hard to explain, so I'm just take y'all through it like this. You're gonna start off at this cone right here. You're not going to anything before the ladder this time. You're just gonna spread up the ladder, right? For the first half of the ladder. You're going to do high knees facing this way, right? The second half of the ladder, you're going to do in outs like this, right? And then once you reach uh, the end of the ladder, you're going to flip your hip and sprint to that cone. Then once you reach that cone, you're going to back pedal all the way to that cone, and then you're going to sprint in the head. So like I said, this is going to work on flipping your hips and this being an athlete. Just being an athlete. Okay, all right, I've got a couple of good ideas there. Um, how Juju Smith-Schuster does NFL speed training. All right then. Should be good. I'm just gonna do a little bit of this stuff. Right now I'm about to run some routes, catch some balls. Uh, it's been a minute since, I, since I've done that. <laughs> got bougie out here. So he's a wide receiver though, isn't he? So it's gonna be lit. Fuck! I should watch. Okay, who's my favorite running back? Leonard Fournette. Bruh, what does he do? <laughs> Leonard Fournette training. Leonard Fournette, is he going to have any good training drills? What's he doing at the pro day? Let's have a look. What's he doing at the pro day? Pro day. Takes a hand off, jump cut to the right, through the bags. In and out. All right, we're going to do some of that for sure. Yeah, keeping the ball nice and high and tight. I'm going to do some of that. Here the cameras. I love his running style, eh? He leans forward when he runs, kind of like Barkley. We're not getting much, well, we are getting a lot from this, actually. What I do to have a quarterback, seriously, what I do to have a quarterback to throw at me.
here we go. What's this? Bang. Little little step to get some separation through the line and then an out route. And that's a little short slant route. Curl. I could practice a couple of those I guess. Nice step. Mmm, good shit. Yeah, I need someone to hand the ball off to me, man. Alright, running back combine drills. Let's have a look at this. Ooh, 51 minutes. NFL combine trainer, cone drill. The three cone drill. I know about that one. Let's have a look. Power. Because the, the distance is so short, it's only five yards, it's more of a bound into the drill and a linear bound out of that five yards. After that, then it becomes a speed motion because you're looking on at circular speed, which is very specific to a number of athletes. I mean, the easiest examples are you know, pass rushing coming around the corner or a wide receiver coming across the middle and turning up field. You know, those type of circular cuts are very, very important in football, so what get better way to demonstrate your ability? Right, I'm going to write a couple of things down here. Okay, so we've got in and out. I want to set up some cones and go in and out. I want to set up a three cone drill. I want to practice my side steps after having gone through a ladder. So I want to go through a ladder, do some sort of some sort of you know some sort of thing through the ladder and then have a cone in front of me that I can either jump cut or do a side step for through and then either left or right and what else we got here I'm gonna load the left knee nose to knee block the right tricep left hand up thousand one thousand two one, two, hitch step. Ready? Go. One, two, hitch step. Touch. You're not necessarily going to be running out of the start. You're going to be bounding out of the start. So you notice that Mark was putting Brendan in position identical to our teaching philosophy on the 40-yard start itself. Now, at the same time, once you come out of your start, it's not going to be a run. It's going to be a three-step bound. It's very what is hard run is real simple. It's circular speed. Circular speed What's this? is used so much in football that I face. Five yard radius arc. So the significance of the five yard radius arc run is real simple. It's circular speed. Circular speed is used so much in football that obviously that's why, in my opinion, it's put into the three cone drill because the demonstration of that type of speed relates to so many positions and so many instances in the game itself. We're going to start three yards away from this first orange cone here. I'm going to demonstrate first here. I'm going to put my basically my right foot back, my right arm forward. I'm in a two-point stance. I'm going to start firing my arms. I throw my head towards these cones. I'm leaning. I ensure lean. Am I tilting my head toward these cones? Arm action, keeping it as tight as possible. Tight as possible. Pumping my arms, arm action, hand clearing the hip. As fast as possible, finish strong through the line, through the white cone, and keep it as sharp and as tight as possible. So Brendan's going to give us a live run through here. He's going to back up. He's going to be three yards away from this first orange cone. He's going to start off with his left foot forward, right foot back, two-point stance, right arm forward. Ready? Go! That's it. Nice job. Nice arm action. The five-yard radius obviously just means that the cones are placed five yards apart. So if you're running around a circle... So if you're a running back, you could be running through, take, faking the handoff, and then running out around the outside on the Y route and catching the ball. Five yards, which is identical to the drill. So what we do with athletes, they might do great in terms of the first five yards, the second five yards. Then when they come out of the second stop, they navigate that first turn. They might square it as opposed to rounding it. So a lot of times we'll just use the preparation of that five yard arc radius just in itself because it's going to help you 
navigate the first turn and the last turn of the drill. You just have to throw the head towards the imaginary center of the circle at the same time as just keep your arms pumping. Okay, I'll try it. Remember, the legs follow the arms. And so you want to minimize the overall volume of the arc run that you do. You know, I'd say we do one to the left, one to the right. Take a rest period, get in some three pump training. And this is one of those things that's very, very easy to feel for athletes. They'll, they'll come out of a square turn like, hey, I squared that turn. They can feel it. So it's very easy to self-coach. What do we got here? The importance of the single cone sprint drill is very, very simple. You're coming to a complete stop and having to change directions at the same time of navigate around a cone without it falling over. So the oh, so this is all about training for the three cone drill. ...are already kind of built into the previous drills. Once you've decelerated, I want to make sure that they're able to accelerate as quickly as possible. In my opinion, you do that by just consistently chopping the feet and keeping the arms moving. It just teaches that quick foot action of pop, 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 and you re-accelerate. Violent arms, lots of choppy steps. We're gonna stand on that line. One on back, one on forward here. Chop his feet, you know, violent feet, knee action, knees up, that's it. Chopping his feet, that's one trip. Arm action, two trips, one more. Arm action, three trips. We're gonna have great choppy feet. He had lots of knee drive, arm action. In terms of that single cone sprint drill. What is the the, no, what is it? The 20 yard drill. 20 yard shuttle. Okay. Let's have a look. 2009. Wow. Okay, they start with one arm down. Okay, so we've got the the three cone drill, we've got the um, 20 yard drill, we've got a ladder to a side step, we've got in and out, and Y route, or the arc, the five yard arc. Um, and to finish off, we'll look at Ezekiel Elliott's <laughs> highlights from the 2016 um, combine. Fuck it. He has run for the most yards in the last season. And I thought he had a little bit of a slow start. He ran 4-4-6. Four, 4-4-6? Four, six. Four, four, six. Nice. Solid times. I like that, I like that screen coming out, huh? It looks bad up there. It is 4-5-5. Five, five, five. But it's electronic. Electronic. That would translate to 4-4. Four, four. What you guys going to get here, Bucky? What you guys Zeke going to get? I don't know if he, I don't know if he's gonna be a great tester. I mean, that looks like it's probably about 32 or 33. Yep. Just under six foot. There's it, it, some guys who you just gotta say that's 225. Like with the drills. Yeah. Let me run the tape. Yeah. And he's one of those guys. Just let me run the tape. Oh, I mean, look at that. that doesn't look like he's 225 pounds. That's all right. This man, 225, five, yeah. eight, almost. Oh, that. They're pushing him. They want him to get one yeah, more. He's, he's, so what's happening, there's a guy behind him, that's James Kirkland from the Browns. So we can't see their feet, but you have to, we say, jump right out your shoes, meaning don't slide, you can't bunny hop. In the NBA, they let them take one step for their vertical. You got to oh. straight up and be able to do it. I want to see you clean to the bags. <laughs> okay, what's this, man? I want to see you clean to the bags. You make that lateral cut, playing in the NFL. A lot of guys can't do this. Here's Elliot. Right, I'll do that. Now, at the very end, they're having you cut off they, they, when they want you to make a move on what would be a safety, a secondary defender. That gets taken away. There's a five yard flag for it. Here's Elliot. Nice, nice, nice. Nice release. Nice, nice, nice. Nice grab there. Yeah. To me, he was the gateway guy. Maurice, real quick, hold on. Here, we got a tweet about Kenyon Drake who just ran through that pass drill, and it's uh, directed to you, as a matter of fact. Yeah. Uh, can Drake be the contemporary come? Turn your upper torso, but not lose speed. 
and make, and make a catch to get down. Your eyes naturally want to drift upfield. Fights the ball, that's it. It moves chest. Nice, nice, nice. Ah, uh, double catch. Marshall, he lets it into his body a little bit, I think. Shit, what was that first, what was that first drill he was doing? This one. So, he goes through the bags. Just like a ladder. I might use a ladder for that one. And then he's making a move, but then he's also going out to that cone and then turning again. Bang. So he's, he's, he's moving laterally. Alright, I got enough. <laughs> uh, let's head down to the field. See you down there. Wow. Yeah, swear to God I'm with it. I don't see nobody in my lane. It's quite go get it like me. Wow. Please don't be wasting my time.